Good morning. So, it's a uh, Saturday morning. It's the day of the Alabama LSU game. What a beautiful sound from off in the distance. All right, I got the smoker pulled out. And got my torch there. So you may be asking yourself, what's going on? All right, well, I just came from home, so check out this footage. So I took two deer hindquarters out of the deep freeze on Thursday, and it is now Saturday morning. So I'm going over to the farm. I'm going to smoke both of these. I got a whole concoction of stuff here that I have injected. Here's the injector. I'm going to dry rub it with grill mates. I'm going to rub them down. I'm going to cook them low and slow. You see, they'll be on the smoker by 7.30. The LSU and Alabama game is at 2.30. I plan to eat them then, so. Are you helping? Are you helping? Have y'all ever seen a better looking dog than that? Ain't no out there. Especially not that one. Alright, so. Hey, did I mention that I didn't shoot this deer? These were given to me by a... a a friend of mine and actually I think his this is a, a deer that his daughter got so if that's the case anyway uh, Gary and Hannah thank you for these and we're headed over to the farm to get this uh, smoker lit up that's right uh, smoking two hindquarters today uh, one for my family one for my buddy's family that gave me the two hindquarters they've been in the deep freeze for quite some time deer season is rolled around again so it's time to cook these because pretty soon we'll have new deer rolling in hopefully we did get that bait bill passed where we can hunt over corn now so that'll help all right so uh first things first i gotta get some fire started all right now look my daddy taught me how to build a fire you know with you know newspaper and you know all that build a teepee baby it blow on it blow on it but there's easier ways nowadays you may call it cheating I call it efficient I got a helper I go one lone goat. I sold the two billy goats, sold the younger billy goat because he was kin to his mama, and you know, <laughs> we can't be allowing all that on Key Farm. And then big billy goat with the fantastic beard, he got to smelling so strong that it would literally hurt your throat to come over here. You'd get a little, get a little tingle, a little scratch in your throat just because his aroma was so strong so both the billy goats are gone we got to get a replacement billy goat don't know when we're going to do that but the billy goats brought 212 dollars so i bought something really cool for 212 dollars show it to you in an upcoming video all right so we got fire rolling we gotta add some more wood i walked back out to the truck got both of these hind quarters they look fantastic now look disclaimer I am NOT some serious smoker person where this is what I do on the weekends I just built this smoker last year I've smoked five or six things on it two whole hogs some Boston butts that sort of thing never smoked a deer hind quarter in my life but I'm smoking two today we just gotta hope and pray that it does what it's supposed to do well, the plan is uh, smoke them for two hours, uh, come back and cover them for maybe two more hours. I'm, I'm going to have to check the internal temperature and see where we're at when I come back and cover them. But uh, I think uh, leave them on there for two hours covered and then come back when they got about two hours left um, and put in potatoes and carrots and onions. That's the plan. But I don't know if it's going to work that way. Kind of kind of play it by ear. All right. All right, uh, deer hindquarter smoking day. It's been, hey, settle down. 
It's been probably three hours. Uh, the meat is up to 120 degrees on the inside, so about halfway through. That's about right. Um, I just covered it with foil, and I'm going to check cameras to see what kind of deer we got on them. And I'm going on the golf cart. It's fantastic. All right, update. See that doll right there where the blue meets the red? That's where I've been cooking all day long. But I just put the vegetables on, so I cranked it up a little higher for this last hour. So now I guess I go up in the loft and watch football. All right, it has been seven hours. And I got both of these hind quarters pulled off. One in the back, one in the front. I've closed up everything over here at the farm. And I'm headed home to eat and watch the ball game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're seven hours into it and here it is. Finished product, got the smoke ring around it like it's supposed to. Um, yeah, you know, we've already been into it. The second one's in there. I haven't even pulled it apart. But I checked the potatoes. The potatoes are ready. Uh, the meat's ready. So, uh, all we gotta do now is taste test. I, whenever there's food around, y'all ever notice that Hank shows up? Coincidence? What do you think, Hank? Was it good? It was awesome. Mmm. I enjoyed it, too. Uh, my wife enjoyed it. She made a plate to take down to her dad. We all loved it. So, um, cooked it seven hours. Put the vegetables in the last hour and a half. The only thing it needed was a big can of corn in there with the potatoes and the carrots and onions. That would have made it perfect. It's Chris from Key Farm. Thank you for watching our little experiment here. Love God, love people. Watch some of those videos they're about to sh uh, pop up. Like Harley's, right there. See him? Click on that, subscribe to the channel, watch more videos.